Hello everyone, my name is Spencer and I'm here to teach you English. Today we'll be going over English news expressions. Those three expressions are to assert, sexism, and to discourage. These words are all in relation to an article about the American pop singer Pink and the Norwegian women's handball team. And it is an interesting issue about their uniforms. So make sure you watch to the end, like, subscribe, and let's begin. The first term today is to assert. To assert. This is a verb, and it means to state a fact or belief confidently. For instance, the European Handball Federation asserted that the women's clothing was inappropriate. The European Handball Federation asserted that the women's clothing was inappropriate. So here they are strongly expressing a belief that they think is a fact. The clothing was inappropriate. So it was not right for the sport. This can also mean to make others recognize your authority or your right. So it's often used with the word authority, assert one's authority. So this means you show that you are worthy of respect and that you are an authority. You're a person in power. A stern expression and serious tone helped assert her authority. A stern expression and serious tone helped assert her authority. The next term is sexism. Sexism. This is the noun. Sexist. Sexist. This is the adjective. So sexism is prejudice or discrimination against somebody on the basis of sex. It is often directed towards women, but not always. So it can be directed towards men as well. If somebody is showing prejudice against somebody because of their sex, they are sexist, sexist. Many people called for the EHF to be fined for sexism. Many people called for the EHF to be fined for sexism. Here, called for doesn't mean on the phone. It means that they demanded that they be fined, that they have to pay money for their sexist ruling. Sexism is a serious hurdle many women face when entering the job market. Sexism is a serious hurdle many women face when entering the job market. Hurdle is an obstacle. So this kind of prejudice against women is often an obstacle for them to get the jobs that they want. The last term is to discourage. To discourage. To discourage somebody from doing something. So this means to persuade somebody against an action. So you're trying to make them not do that thing. The clothing regulations may discourage many women from joining the sport. The clothing regulations may discourage many women from joining the sport. So this means those regulations are going to make it so women don't join the sport. They are less likely to join the sport. And this also can mean to cause somebody to lose confidence. So you make them feel less confident about something. For instance, criticism that is not constructive will discourage the listener from trying. Criticism that is not constructive will discourage the listener from trying. So here, constructive criticism is criticism, but it's for the purpose of helping that person. Whereas just criticism is often negative and just attacking the person. It's not very helpful. Okay, so here we have the article title. Pink is offering to pay the Norwegian women's beach handball team's fine for wearing shorts. This is from CNN. So this is the American pop singer Pink, in case you don't know who she is. So if we go down, let's see the situation here. A Norwegian women's beach handball team refused to wear bikini bottoms while competing and so they needed to pay a fine 
of 1,765 US dollars because they were wearing shorts instead of bikini bottoms. You can see a picture here of the shorts they were wearing. So the EHF, the European Handball Federation, asserted that the women competed in improper clothing. Remember that asserted is to say a strong opinion. So this is their strong opinion. This clothing is improper because it's shorts instead of bikini bottoms. Then we've got the word sexism. So Pink posted on Twitter about this issue and said the EHF should be fined for sexism. So they should be paying money for their sexist attitude. Remember, sexism is unfair discrimination against a sex, in this case, against women. But finally, we've got here discourage. So the uniform regulations could discourage women from playing the sport. So this means the uncomfortable uniform could make it so women don't want to play the sport. If you're interested in reading this article, make sure you check out CNN to read more. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope this video helped you feel more comfortable with some common English news expressions. If you didn't already, like this video, subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!